All right, so this is going to be slightly out of order. Uh, I'm having internet issues at home, so I'm going to do this part um, first. Hopefully, I'll do, be able to do the Mixamo stuff for you in just a bit. So I went ahead and launched an Unreal template here. This is a the uh, side scroll template. So when you launch your Unreal Engine, go ahead and launch uh, a, a 3D, not a 2D side scroll, a 3D side scrolling template. If you press play, you'll see that we have the mannequin. He's sort of stuck to two axes here. I press space. So out of the box, we already have a bunch of the things that we're going to need to be able to build our platformer. Um, so uh, you'll look at these assets here in the starter content, in the side scroller BP, in the blueprints. You'll see you have the side scrolling character, you have the side scrolling game mode, uh, and then this is the side scroller example map. So all of this is um, really great, but uh, we're going to want to make our own uh, version of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click each of these and I'm going to duplicate the side-scrolling character in the side-scrolling game mode and I'm going to put it into my prototyping folder. I'll move it right here. So there we go. And in fact, I'm going to rename these guys right now. I'm going to rename this uh, Lego guy uh, Care BP. And I'm going to call this guy, uh, rename Lego guy uh, game mode. Game mode. Rename Lego guy game mode. Okay. So the reason is, is that um, I'm going to create a new um, world. And we're going to want to create that to be able to maintain the structures that are already in here. So I'm going to say new level, like I always do. Uh, and let's go ahead and just um, window. What am I missing here? Uh, details. Let's click on this guy. And we'll just make this. Um, instead of it making 15, 15, 15, I'm going to shorten it to. Uh, let's say 0.1 in X, okay? And that's enough for me to start with. Um, and we'll be making our side scrolling world uh, from here, okay? So I don't need anything else in here, uh, really. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of atmospheric fog. If you guys are really into lighting, uh, you can take that into a different class. So this is really, we're focusing on the character work right now. And maybe I'll pull this bigger just so we have somewhere to run and we'll replace most of this when we get to it. Okay, so on my entitled here, I'm going to save current as uh, in my prototype Lego folder and I'll call this uh, Lego guy prototype map. Okay, so now I have the, the map to do this. So now let's go ahead. These are the Mixamo elements that I downloaded. Remember, um, I have yet to record this, but we will. I'll show you how to uh, send your character up to Mixamo and auto rig it, and then I'm pulling down the raw. I'm calling it raw SK because we're prototyping right now. Um, so I'm just going to take this. I'm going to pull this in, and it's going to say, "Oh, you want to bring this in? Notice I want to. Skeleton is empty. I'm going to import all." And I do get some errors, but um, and it's going to compile some shaders for a minute. But for the most part, I should have my Lego guy. So let's take a look. So I'm going to create a new folder here just to clean this up. I'll call this MAT and click on all those. Bring that in, move that in there. Okay. Um, and let's go take a look at our Lego guy. Great. Great. So the whole skeleton tree is in here. And he's looking pretty good. I mean, a little wobbliness here but 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 he's rigged and he's ready for for prime time great so let's go ahead and bring a couple of uh, aspects into it so i'm gonna bring the lego idle into that failed to import why is that hmm. oh i know why i brought a warrior idle in so i'm gonna go ahead and bring this in it's gonna say hey lego guy raw skeleton yep import all uh, and I'm going to bring the running and the jump in. Why not? So I'll do that. And I'll import all. Okay, so let's take a look at the running. Right? So obviously there's all kinds of errors with this, 
but it's functional for what we need for the Lego guy, right? So when we actually get in later on this week, maybe we'll start cleaning this up. But for now, that works just fine. Let's take a look at our uh, warrior idol. Yep, and I think he stretches in just a minute here. Uh, yep, perfect. Okay, and let's take a look at what's the last one. The jump, right? So that's a jump. All right, so that will be what we'll do and I'll demo my, um, my uh, animation montage with that. Okay, so let's just get this, this guy set up. I'm gonna open up my Lego character BP. Remember, this is still the um, mannequin that we're using. So if I press play, you notice the mannequin is running here. The reason I did this is because we have the game mode and the mannequin working. So out of the box, we have default input systems and we have, have the default inputs. So this is gonna be a really easy, good starting point for us to be able to re replace the components that we need to be able to build this character. So I'm gonna say escape. I'm gonna go in here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this mesh and I am going to swap on out for the Lego character. And let's scale him up just a bit. Pretty good. I don't think I need to do much to the capsule. I'm gonna say compile on that. And I'm gonna come back. Now, I don't actually have animation on this guy. So, but I have swapped out the, the BP. So when I press play, he's still there. So I need to go to my game mode and my world settings. So I'll say uh, Lego guy game mode and in the default pawn class, I will say um, Lego guy, where is he? Lego guy character BP, which is this guy right here. So let's try playing again. There he is. And he actually follows the inputs of the, right? So now I have a Lego character moving around. So just to start with, let's do what we're, we're, we know how to do, which is go into the Lego mesh. I'm gonna say the animation asset, and then I'm going to say um, Warrior Idol, and I'm gonna compile. That's great. So this is exactly what I need. Notice how the spring arm is facing him and where the camera is and the positioning of the, the target, uh, target length of the camera. Compile, press save and he's just idling, which is great. And he's stretching it. So this is only one animation clip that we're, we're using. Um, so it's not quite what we want. So I'm gonna stop right here. Uh, and then in the next video, we're gonna start hooking up some of these pieces. So we've got them running and jumping around.